In this video, I am going to show how to install MySQL and MySQL Workbench on Windows 11. So let's get started. At first, open your favorite web browser and browse this URL mysql.com and then scroll down. I am going to download MySQL Community Server and MySQL Workbench. So open this link in a new tab and also open this link in new tab. Okay. Now select the version that you want to install. Select the latest version or long term supported version. I am going to download the Windows installer file for Windows 32 bit and 64 bit operating system. Click here to download. It may take a while for downloading MySQL community server and I am going to download MySQL Workbench for Windows operating system. Now click on this download link to download MySQL Workbench Windows installer. It may take a while for downloading MySQL workbench that's it after a successful download go into the download folder at first open my SQL installer The setup wizard will install MySQL server on your computer. Click on the next button to continue installation. Now read the following license agreement carefully and then check this box to accept the terms in the license agreement then click on next. Now choose the setup type. I am going to select the complete setup type. The setup wizard is ready to begin installation. So click on the install button. If you asked a question from user account control, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Select yes option. It may take a while for installing. Now click on finish. Select yes option. With this wizard, you will be able to configure your recent MySQL server installation. Simply click on the next button when you are ready to proceed. This is the default data directory. You can change this directory. Click on this browse button. Select the directory where you want to store the data. Then click on next. Choose the correct server configuration type for this MySQL server installation. This settings will define how much system resources are assigned to the MySQL server instance. I am going to select the first configuration type for development computer. Here use the following controls to select how you would like to connect to this server. This is the port number and this is the X protocol port number. Okay. 
click on next now enter the password for the root account please remember to store this password in a secure place if you want to create a mysql user accounts for your users and applications assign a role to the user that consists of a set of privileges otherwise leave this option then click on next now configure mysql server as a windows service this is the default service name you can change this name if you want to start the mysql server at system startup check this box otherwise uncheck and then select the standard system account option then click on next now select the first option then click on next mysql databases samples can be installed or removed as part of this configuration these samples provide test data to when developing applications for the mysql ecosystem select the databases that should be created check this box otherwise uncheck then click on next now apply the configuration click on the execute to apply the changes it may take a while for initializing database and updating permissions for the data folder and related server files okay the configuration for my sql server was successful so click on next button to continue that's it the configuration procedure has been completed now click on finish now i am going to start the mysql server so open windows services and find out mysql see the status it is running if it is not running start the service okay search for my sql and open my sql command line client open this now enter the password for the root user that's it my sql installed successfully now i am going to install my sql workbench so open this installer then click on next click on next select the setup type complete then click on next the setup wizard is ready to begin installation click on the install button if you asked a question from user account control do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device select yes option it may take a while for installing my sql workbench my sql workbench is a graphical user interface for accessing the my sql database like php my admin that's it my sql workbench installed successfully i am going to connect 
to MySQL. Click on this and enter the first word for the root user of MySQL. That's it. MySQL Workbench connected with MySQL database. I'm going to create a new database from MySQL Workbench. Write a simple SQL query to create a database. Create database MyDB. Execute this query. Select this button. That's it. MyDB database created successfully. That's it. If you like this video, like, comment, and share. Thank you so much for watching this video.